Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for May the 16th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, new FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb suggested that the agency needs to play its part in lowering high drug prices in the US. Gottlieb noted that the FDA needs to be taking meaningful steps to get more low-cost alternatives to the market, to increase competition and to give consumers more options. Also in the news, Editas Medicine pushed back plans to file an IND with the FDA for its CRISPR genome editing therapy LCA10 due to third-party manufacturing issues. Editas previously said it aimed to file by the end of the year to initiate the first clinical trials of the treatment, which is partnered with Allergan, but is now targeting mid-2018. In other news, Merck KGAA may split its three business units, which comprise healthcare, life science and performance materials, into separate subsidiaries. However, a company spokesman denied the idea was in preparation for a possible change in ownership, but is rather about taking into account the specific needs of the businesses. And finally, a data protection advisor to the NHS said that Google's DeepMind unit received 1.6 million patient records from the Royal Free Hospital in London on an inappropriate legal basis. Dame Fiona Caldicott determined that she did not believe that when the patient data was shared with Google DeepMind, implied consent for the direct care was an appropriate legal basis. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 